Hello guys and welcome back to another Dazod 500 video. And in this video, we're going to be predicting the Langju Bikarin. And if you translate that to English and do not separate the words, it says the lingerie. But if you separate Langju from Bikarin, it says the extended cup, which is probably true. Group A consists of HK Copa Volga, I Akrans, IF Vestri, UMF Grindvarik, Kaya Reykjavik and Valua Reykjavik. I'm gonna say in last will be EMF Glendavik because I think everyone else is just better. Number five, Ia Akhain's newly relegated, actually. So let's see how they do in the one dialed. But for the Lengju Bikaran, I'm saying they will struggle. To three Odvazdil teams and I Vestri, who I've put in fourth. Vestri, I mean, at the end of the 2021 campaign, I thought they were good. They weren't too, too bad in 2022, and I'm saying they're going to continue that for 2023. I'm only going to say that they beat, like, the small teams, but we'll, we'll just go on. In third, HK Kip and Volga, newly promoted. And Kipa Voga, I'm just saying Copa Voga wins against these teams. Who have predicted to win against Vestri, Grenzva, Gundavik, and Valua Reykjavik. Yeah, third place for HK Copa Voga. Second place, K Reykjavik. I don't know why. There's just something in my body that says that K Reykjavik are going to struggle this year. I don't know what. But I just have a feeling that Kairos Reykjavik will struggle. And then Valua, I'm saying, will top it. Because Valua Reykjavik, the most successful team in Iceland. I mean, they haven't won in a while, but... Yes. Group B, IBV Vestmanejar. Like in Reykjavik, Karangdjö, Dwajda Blaik, FA Hafen Hafdor, and UMF Selfos. I'm saying in last will be said, UMF Selfus. They just don't have what's, like, required to get a lot of points in this tournament. Like, you're one of the weaker teams. You're in the second division. You nearly were relegated in that said second division. Surely you're just gonna, like, not do well in the cup. Number five is Kordinger. And I'm pretty sure the website I'm using this, that is the basketball team's logo, which is just great. But Kordinger, pretty strong, but not too strong. I just zoomed in. Number four I'm saying is IBV Vestmaneja. They could definitely win when they have to win, and they could definitely lose when they have to lose. They could even lose to Selfos, you know? I didn't say they would, but who knows. In third, newly relegated Leikner Reykjavik. I think this is just one of those sides that will overachieve in the one dialed. They'll get, like, first... They'll either get first, or they're going to get first and, like, get no losses. Like, I just have a feeling with like Reykjavik. But of great fights in 2022, and amazing fights that not get relegated in 2021, honestly. In second, F.H. Harfna Hafador. Yeah, they're just not good anymore. They used to be good, and then they got relegated last year, so I don't know what to say about this team. And number one, the champions, all oh, the defending champions, of the Urvalsdale Badabla Copa Volga. This side is just very, very good. And I would not be surprised to see a side like Bride Blaik to make it to at least the second round of Champions League qualifiers, depending on who they get. We're going on to Group C. With has UMF Stjanen, UMF Njadovic, Gota, Alfredding, Fam Wikovic, and Vinkuga Vinkovic. 
I'm saying in last and sixth place, F. Ding, who I just don't really have a lot of hope in. I do kind of like their badge, though. But everything else, I just don't see potential in this team. Number five, Irmef Njadvik, I believe newly promoted. So you, you always know how that's going to go down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, N Njardvik, yeah. Njardvik. Um, number four, Grota. I mean, they were relegated, I believe, 2020 in that year. I'm saying Grota will, well, they'll definitely try to get promoted, definitely try to do something. Here, obviously they can't. Number three, we have Stianen. They were really good before. Something just kind of happened. I mean, they did get six last year, or were in the champions' path, or champions' little area there. They should definitely. They should get rid of phases. They should just go back to the league format. Top, uh, bottom two get relegated. They should just definitely do that. But Stianen were really good last year. And third. Second, I've gone for, surprisingly to some, Vinkuga Ikavik. Yeah, I'm saying Vinkuga Ikavik, who nearly made it to the Conference League last year, will get second behind a bunch of Icelandic farmers. Or sorry, Icelandic Frammers, because I've predicted Fram Reykjavik to beat out the side. But in the match, what did I predict? I predicted a 2-0 win for Vinkuga Reykjavik. This kind of happens with other matches. If I'm saying Fam Reykjavik, they'll get first. Last group, Group D. We have Pua, or not Pua, Thor Aikuri, Thota Reykjavik, Kei Aikuri, Fiona Reykjavik, Filkir Reykjavik, and Keflivik. In the last, I'm saying Throtter Reykjavik. I'm just thinking that Throtter... I think they're newly promoted as well, so they're just going to get smacked in the second division, the one-dialed, and they're going to get smacked in this Lange Bukerin. Number five, Thor Aikuri. And... Simple as that. They might get relegated in the one-dialed, so they're not going to co um, compete with three pretty good teams from the Urvals dialed and a good team in the one dialed. I'm just saying that. In fourth, I'm going to go for rather surprisingly Keflavik. Because it's funny because every match that I predicted them to lose, they could definitely win. I've only said fourth because... I think Keflavik are just that team. Like, they can win every single match. They'll just lose them, though. Number third, Filkjelikovic, the defending champions of the One Dialed, which, of course, they will not be able to hold on to their trophy. They can never be a back to back winner in a second division, now that I think about it. Wow. Filkjelikovic. Mm hmm. That's where I'm putting you. Although you can get a pretty good spot in the Unfall Styles. I'm just saying here, you're going to do what you can do, and at the end, lose to Fjellner, and that's what it can cost you second. Speaking of second, Fjellner Reykjavik. Of course, also speaking of Fjellner, who I think might actually get promoted, but I kind of hope they don't. Because I kind of hope Lycaner Reykjavik and Ia Akrains gets promoted. And I, no offense, of course. And no offense, I kind of hope that Flamikovic and IBV Vesna Mainja get relegated because then we'd have a 2021 Irvasdale, and I really like the 2021 Irvasdale. You understand? Anyways, yeah, Phil Norekovic's there. And first, K.A. Acuity. I believe they are finally into the Conference League. Hold up, I'm just going to have to double check this. Well, not the Conference League, but the Conference League qualifiers. So, Akuri is finally into the Conference League qualifiers. Like, what took you so long? 
honestly. It's looking at the teams. Looking at the teams here. I'm kind of excited for this to start. Little Glimpse, Little Simbug, You Goblins, Hammerby, Aktobe, Odabzi, Kamos Algeris. Oh, yeah, Auda. Oh, that team made it? Oh, this is interesting to look at. Yo, they won the cup. On the main channel, I made a video called Torpedo Kotaisi Are Good, or something like that. And they won the cup. Wait, Dynamo Batumi got second? Who won the league? Dinamo Tbilisi. I kind of feel bad for Sam Guali to shake a ticket, chicka ticket, chicka ticket, Talbo. Because they were, they were two points off of third. I feel so bad. Oh, Gagra. They won their playoffs. Okay, that's good. I'm getting super off track. But there, there's the end of the video, guys. Peace.